Yeah, uh, I'm Dr. Nitin. I'm uh, heading the Department of Neurotel and Pediatrics in Mandurut Electronic City. Uh, today we shall talk about uh, moms. Okay. Uh, I think many of so you would have heard about moms uh, in the news or in the past or regarding the vaccination. Okay. So mums is a viral infection. It is uh, one of the most common viral infection which can be prevented with the vaccine. Okay. So mums is very contagious. So contagious, what does that mean? Is it can be spread, you know, by person to person via contact, and usually through the air it can get spread. Okay, and sometimes even with the uh, you know, some infected person is touching some items, so what we call as fomites, through that also it can spread. So, mumps is a common infection in kids, in children, and uh, even the adults can get infected. So, adults, if they get infected, the complications is higher. So, uh, and since it is a contagious disease and it can cause uh, a lot of issues in uh, children, and even in the adults, since it can cause some complications, uh, we have the vaccine for the mumps. Okay. So, mumps uh, separate vaccine is not given. It is given as a combination of MMR, which is measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine. Okay. So, the vaccine is given initially at nine months, and then again we give it to fifteen months second dose, and the third booster is given at four to six years. And in the government, then the first nine months they give the MR vaccine, and then later they give the MMR vaccine. So why mumps is important? As I told, mumps it can affect children, it can affect adults, even the pregnant ladies. If they catch mumps, the kids or the newborn or in the fetus also can have some issues with the mumps. Okay. So mumps is a live uh, vaccine. What does live vaccine means is some, you know, children they have some diseases like for example cancer or if they are taking some uh, you know medications, this vaccine shouldn't be given. Okay. And uh, even for the pregnant ladies, this vaccine is not to be given. And uh, MMR vaccine is very effective. So usually after the third dose, we see almost uh, 80 to 100 percent of the immunity. And there is a herd immunity also in this MMR vaccine. Uh, herd immunity means the locality or the people, if they are vaccinated, the chance of mumps uh, spreading is less. And uh, mumps. Uh, even with the vaccine, sometimes we can get the disease, but the disease is usually mild. Uh, I will also talk about mumps, what specifically is mumps. So, mumps is an infection uh, in which the kid usually gets a fever, headache, uh, something like vomiting or you know weakness or anorexia and later they will develop swelling in the face. The swelling is between the ear and the jaw, somewhere here. So, you can see bulging. So usually both the sides will be affected, left side and right side. So both the sides and this pain can be severe sometimes. You can see the redness and uh, many kids cry of the pain. So the treatment of mums actually is uh, we give painkillers. Uh, we ask them to take a lot of fluids and maybe we can give something for the uh, you know lotion to apply. Okay. So be careful and uh, we have all vaccines available now. Even MMR, there is a vaccination. So, you know, whenever it is feasible, go and meet the doctor and take the vaccine. Thank you.